One of the best kept secrets in the Esperance region is the Duke of Orleans Bay. The water is as clear as I've seen anywhere in Australia and it's set against a spectacular backdrop of rock formations. The Duke of Orleans Bay is one of the most spectacular places you can go bottom fishing. The water's so blue. I'm here with Glenn from Duke Charters. Glenn, what are we likely to catch out here today? Oh, Nana Guy, Queen Snapper, Frakey Cod, uh, might pick up a Harlequin. Ooh, they're all great fish and uh, all hard fighting fish too. So there could be some good action here later on, I reckon. We hope so, yeah, it should right. be. Let's go and play around these islands, see what kind of fish we can pull up, eh? Okay then. Now everyone today is going to be using a variation of the Paternoster rig and that involves a sinker on the bottom. I'm actually using a lead head jig with no tail just to give me weight and I've got some bait on the bottom there. And then a dropper loop above that, a smaller hook, also baited up with some nice fresh fish flesh. That's a hard one to get your tongue around. And that's it. That's all it takes to get some bottom fish here in Esperance. That's a better band, eh? Yeah. Could this be the first good fish for the day? Looks alright, doesn't it? Hey? Starting to get colour now. Oh, I'm getting heaps of bites too. Might just be starting to happen. I'm on. Oh yeah. That's got some more weight to it. What do you got? I've got... Sergeant Baker. Big fat Sergeant Baker. Well, they're excellent bait, so things are looking up. I've got something a bit better than that, I think. He's really dipping and diving. Look at that. That's a nice nanny guy. And these are just one of the best eating fish around. He could swallow just about anything, my whole fist perhaps. But really a pretty fish. And those gill plates, they are just razor blades. You can see they've even got little serrations on them. I think I won't tempt fate any longer, then I'll pop him back. No, he's much too big for you to eat. Don't even think about it. They also go back really well. Oh yes. That one took a bit of, bit of line on the first run there. What are you doing there, Murray? The heavy gear's actually been a bit of a liability, isn't it? See? Light gear, oh, uh, yeah. I should have shut my mouth there, shouldn't I? <laughs> he's got something bigger than me. That's actually not bad, what you got on there. <laughs> Look, it's a Sergeant Baker again. I told you, I'm the Sergeant Baker specialist. What do you got? Looks like a brake seat. Uh, yeah, it is too. Nice, nice one. Yeah. Nice fish, nice day. Certainly are. Look at that in the sun. Nice yellow. Ooh, plenty of spikes too. And it's gone right in the old uh, tum tum. <laughs> You're right there. Uh, Pop him right. back before he spikes anymore. Oh, try and get on his own. He's gone. Yes. Oh, yes. This has got some weight in a big way. Oh, my goodness me. I can't move it off the bottom. Oh, he got it up, got it up. Oh, good fish. Very, very good fish. It's always a nervous time when you've got a really good fish on. And there are some really nice fish in these waters off the Duke of Orleans Bay. And this is the first really sizeable hookup we've had today. So now, of course, the pressure's on me. It's a shark. And it's wrapped itself up in the line about 79 times. Oh no. What kind of shark? Bronzy? Gummy, gummy shark. shark. It is too, it's a gummy shark. Oh, it's a pretty big one though. Look at that! Whoa! The people target gummy sharks down here in Esperance. And uh, I can see why, what a fight! They're fantastic eating too, aren't they mate? They certainly are. Well, a lot of people come to Esperance for this very reason. Gummy sharks. They're fantastic eating, fantastic biting, and... <laughs> Do you need a hand there? No, I think I'm all right. Any bigger than I would. See, the no teeth. 
do, I wouldn't go messing about with his mouth anyway. I'll tell you what, you think sharks aren't tough? Watch this. You ready, mate? After that battle, he'll just slide on away. Oh, now we've got a decent old fish. We've got a decent old breeze to go with it. This one's giving me some curry. Gonna get it up off the bottom where it's not gonna be able to fight quite so hard, but it's still going pretty hard. Oh, that wind's really come in now, but it's working. Glenn was right. As soon as that wind came in, so did the fish. Can't be far away now. Colour. A bit of colour. Seems to be the right colour. Looks like a good nanny guy to me. And it is. It certainly is. Have a look at that. Oh! <laughs> nice catch. Well, Glenn told us we'd come here and catch these magnificent fish. The Natty Guy truly is an underrated fish and the Duke of Orleans Bay is the best place to catch them. Duke Charters will give you a great day. And mate, thanks for the fight. We'll see you later.